Why do I ride a Honda Goldwing? I'm glad you asked. Because in my personal opinion, the Honda Goldwing is a, some people may think it's an old man bike, a retired couple's bike, and I can understand why. And let me tell you why. It's soft, the seats are soft. And that's a, that, that's a big thing with me, is a soft seat. I mean, if I'm gonna be out here riding a motorcycle, I don't want to get to my destination and have an achy back. You know, I don't want my back hurt when I home, when I owned that Harley I had, and it was fine. But when I got to my destination, my back was hurting. Keep in mind, it was an older Harley; it wasn't a newer Harley. Um, so don't fall into this thing about the Harleys are better than the Gold Wings, and the the Gold Wings are better than the Harleys. Well, the Gold Wings are better than the Harleys, but don't fall into this thing about which bike is better. You know, as long as you got two wheels and you're riding and your bike is dependable. You know, enjoy the ride. But for me, I needed something with soft seats. And and I guess for an older person that's retired, you know, they don't want to be riding around with an iron butt. You know, you know they have a soft tush. So I needed something with a soft seat. The Gold Wing gives me that. I needed cruise control. The Gold Wing gives me that. I needed AM FM stereo. The Gold Wing gives me that. I needed iPod connectivity for my iPod. The Gold Wing gives me that. I needed a fuel gauge because one bike I had didn't even have a fuel gauge. It had a light. Well, matter of fact, it didn't have a light. The second bike had a light. But the Gold Wing gives me a gauge. I know my temperature. Um, I have my RPMs. Um, did I mention cruise control? Did I mention cruise control? Of course I mentioned cruise control. A gold wing without cruise control is like cornflake without the milk. Anyway, I have heated seats. I have heated grips. What is my outside temperature? 77 degrees Fahrenheit. I love that. What time is it? 2.35. I love that. How many miles have I traveled? 48.9 miles. Matter of fact, 49.0. On my windshield, I got a couple of latches I could pull over and just let the windshield up or down. It only takes me about five seconds. So I can manually adjust the windshield up and down. I have this open uh, vent here. If I want to get some air on me, I open that vent up. I love that. Um, it has a uh, connection for a uh, CB. That's a separate accessory that you can buy from the dealer. Um, I don't have that because I'm not gonna be talking on the CB. Why well, talk on a CB when I have Bluetooth and I'm using the Cena Bluetooth SMH20. Okay, now I do have a, uh, a, a connection here where you can connect uh, your helmet for your passenger, and you all can do communications or you can talk, you know, CB or whatever. But you know, this is to me is kind of outdated technology. You know, when they have Bluetooth now, that eliminates a lot of wires. So. Um, I don't need that. It's just an extra, uh, extra, uh, extra accessory that's just really uh, not even needed. But anyway, I have weather band. If I want to see what the weather is doing, I can crank up the weather band and get my weather on the fly. Uh, what else I have? I even have hazard lights. If I pull over, my hazard lights will flash. You know, let people know that I'm. I have stopped. Um, I have fog lights. Um, you know, I got my setup, I got my trip mileage. Uh, over here, I got a, uh, a button here that would lower and raise the um, the headlight aim. So if I got a heavy passenger and the bike drops down, I can actually level up or down the, uh, the headlight aim. 
Uh, of course, this bike is a six-cylinder engine, 933 pounds. Oh, and it'll run. Oh, it'll run. Now, sometimes you want to hit it and quit it. You want to hit it and quit it. It's a gold wing. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on back here. Let me get off of it. Let me get off of it. Let me get off of it. See, you got me excited there. See, I hit the climax and let it go, baby. I'm talking about stay focused. Stay focused. I'm talking about the motorcycle. But anyway, it has so many different features. Uh, what we got? Uh, Self-canceling turn signals. Um, I can control my radio from my... I can control my music uh, from my... Um, hmm, Destiny's Child. Huh? I can control my music from right, right here uh, from my, this control module. Um, it's got uh, it's got great speakers I got a 12 volt power outlet that I installed myself that did not come from the factory uh, like that uh, what else I have I told you about the suspension lift no I told you about the headlight lift so if you got a heavy passenger or heavy load you can adjust the, the uh, you can adjust the uh, the headlight up or down and also too you got a hydraulic lift on the back so if you have a heavy load you can actually raise the suspension suspension or you can lower the suspension all with just a, uh, a touch of a button and you can't do it while you're riding you have to be in park to do it I think you have no you have I'm excuse me you have to be in neutral uh, in order for that to work in order to lift the, the bike up or down now you may can do it because it has a couple of settings where you can actually save the uh, the height in a uh, you know in a profile so you may can raise it even while you're moving off the profile but just standard you know raising lowering um okay destiny child that's enough of that beyonce uh, so you can raise it um 35 miles to the gallon I th i'm not sure if that's city or highway uh 933 pounds I mean, it's just an awesome bike. It's quiet. I mean, some guys like a lot of loud pipes. The tough guys with tattoos and, you know, handlebar mustaches. My hat goes off to you guys. But I like a quiet bike. I may want to ease in and ease out. You understand what I'm saying? I may want to ease in and ease out. Now, I know what you... Stay focused, guys. I know what you're thinking. I'm not talking about creeping. I'm not talking about late night creeping. I'm talking about... When you come home from a long ride, you may want to ease into your house, you know, to make sure that somebody hadn't kicked your door in and uh, stealing your stuff. So if you got loud pipes, they can hear you coming. So that's one advantage to quiet pipes, but there are a lot of other advantages to loud pipes. But that's a topic for another day. So the gold wing is quiet. Uh, it's a great running bike. I mean, I can just ride it all day. I'm out here in Mississippi, the wide open area. Uh, you know, they think, oh, that's an old man bike. That bike, you know, a gold wing? How do you handle it? As you can see, I'm riding with one hand. You know, that's an old man bike. Why would you want to ride, man? This bike here, it may be an old man bike, but you know, you can learn a lot from some of the older people. You can learn a lot from the old. See how this bike rolls? It's a gold wing, baby. Hit it and quit it. Hit it, come off of it, quit it. So you can learn a lot from old people. I learned that the hard way. I apologize, I learned that the smart way. So it's a fast bike, uh, lots of power. It's got a, a six cylinder opposed engine. Um, I mean, it, when it's raining, the rain just blows right over the top of you. You barely even get wet. And, and you know, when I first heard that, I didn't believe it. I'm thinking, yeah, right. How can you not get wet while it's raining? But for some, it blows, it's like a, a bubble, man. You're just riding in a bubble of air. And you're just riding in a bubble of air. And um, you will not even get wet while you're riding. I mean, you'll get wet a little bit, but you'll be surprised. It's like they engineered this, this gold wing to where the uh, 
the wind to blow right over the top of you, man. And as a result, you don't really get wet like you would, you know, when I had that Harley, man, I, it rained one day, I came in, I was soaking wet. Everything was wet on me, including the money in my wallet. And that's no joke. Uh, everything was wet. Uh, but on this going, it, it, it's like you're riding in a bubble of air, uh, believe it or not. This here is a 2014 uh, GL1800, and it has plenty of power. Uh, I like the wide um, side mirrors so I can see what's coming up on me from the rear. You know, I got a big truck back there in the car, you know, so I can kind of keep an eye on my six or my back you know so that's a plus to have you know big mirrors on your bike um, and you know I hear a lot of people say you know motorcycling is dangerous and yes it is you know they actually make gold wings with airbags um, of course I don't have airbags in this model uh, I mounted my own GPS um, so other than that, I mean, it's an overall great bike. It handles great. Uh, even though it's 933 pounds, the center of gravity is down low. And as a result, the bike doesn't seem as heavy, uh, believe it or not. I mean, it seems heavy when you're riding real slow. I mean, if you're, if you're riding, you know, uh, five miles an hour, yeah, it seems heavy then because... Uh, Gravity is trying to pull your bike back down to the earth. And it wants to fall over. It wants to topple over. So, yeah, uh, it will seem heavy um, at, at very low speeds. But just, um, just going to pull over here for a second and give you a quick walk around of the bike, if I may. Okay. So this is my baby. This is my going. I did one video of a walk around already. It was kind of impromptu. Um, and I, when I listened back on the video, I was breathing hard, but that's probably because I had all that gear on. Uh, but this is my going. This is my GL1800. Um, so I've got deer whistles. Like I said, that's in my other videos. I got deer whistles on the front. I got headlights, fall lights. Um, and, you know, that's the side view of my gold wing. Um, look at this gentleman. That's the side view of my gold wing. Um, guess he's going to cut some grass. But see, the gold wing always draw attention no matter where you go. See, out of nowhere, somebody just walks up. Yeah, he's finna cut the grass. But anyway, um, saddlebags. Let me open up the saddlebag for you. There's your side saddlebag. You have another saddlebag on this side here. That's where I keep some of my, my goodies. As a matter of fact, let me... I like a clean windshield. You know, I rode with a guy one time and he said, man, I hate you. He was on a victory vision. And uh, I mean, he I mean, he, he's, he has a nice victory vision. Don't get me wrong, it was nice. And uh, we stopped and I opened up my saddlebag and I pulled out here I hope he don't throw a rock up here and hit my bike come on man take that motorcycle somewhere else I'm sorry take that uh that llama somewhere else but that's the way he can get a look at my going but anyway trunk with all my junk in it so yeah uh oh my saddlebag says open Okay, so that just I just gave you a quick walk around of the going. 
Now it's time to get back on it. So this is why I ride a Goldwing. Nothing wrong with a Harley. I think Harleys are great, man. They sound good. But I just don't care for an air-cooled bike. You know, as you can see, my fans just kicked on. Can you hear them? Let me show you something right quick. I don't know if you can hear that, but listen. Some fans kicked on. You got a fan here and a fan here. I can feel it. I can feel that cool air blowing out of here. Man, that's great. Oh, did I mention the foot warmers? Look at that. That's your foot warmers. You open that and it'll blow. You see that? Can you see that right there? It goes up and down. Oh man, that's great. That is awesome. That's your foot warmers. That's your foot warmers. There's a guy on the motorcycle right there. Get back out on the road. But anyway, this is why I ride. A go wing. I have no problem with Harleys. I have no problem with Victory Vision. I have no problem with Kawasaki's. But as for me, in my house, I'm riding the go wing. That's all I have for you guys. I will see you guys later. It's time to open this thing up. I'll talk to you later on the go wing.